YouTube. In this video, I'm going to show you three calm treat deliveries. And what do I mean by calm treat deliveries? I mean the way that you feed your dog a treat can actually calm them down or excite them. There are very many ways that you can excite your dog with a treat delivery, such as throwing the treat, and that can make them very excited and, over, and sometimes overly excited and aroused. If you have a shy or reactive dog, that's the last thing you want them to be when you're out and about. So giving them the treat calmly is very important. So obviously, you've got to move your hand very slowly when you give your dog a treat for counter conditioning. There are different ways of doing it. If your dog gets really nervous and their mouth gets really hard and they bite you hard when you give the treat, you don't want to give them the treat like this or they're going to bite your fingers off and they're going to learn to always bite your hand. Treat delivery number one. Move your hand slowly and feed off the palm of your hand. Here's a close-up of what it looks like. Here's an example of using this treat delivery for counter conditioning. Stay tuned for more videos on how to use counter conditioning correctly. Treat delivery number two. Slowly put the treat on the ground, then let go. A great treat delivery for teaching your dog not to bite your hand is to put the treat down on the ground and let go of the treat. You're not going to do it fast, you're going to go really slowly. Treat delivery number three. Put one hand under your dog's chin and then slowly feed with the other hand. Then another treat delivery. You can put your hand under your dog's chin as you feed them the treat so they can't go for your hand and then you can Move your hand very slowly to deliver the treat while the dog is looking at something. This is Lacey, our new puppy. We rescued her three months ago in June at four months old. Using progressive reinforcement and counter conditioning, she's become a very friendly, wonderful dog to share our lives with. However, when we first brought her home, she was very scared of people and dogs and she would bark at every person and every dog she saw on the street. She also didn't want to take treats. Lacey also used to bark at every single noise inside of our house and every single person as they moved into the room that she was in. I'm sorry Lacey, I just need to get a picture of you barking. Stay tuned for more tutorials on how to build calmness and confidence in your shy or reactive dog.